Are you tired of the typical libraries with conventional music that makes you feel meh? Introducing Lyrics.com, the music website made for and by minds like you. Our team are lifelong musicians and producers in love with music. Search the Lyrics music catalogs and find the music with guaranteed originality. Mark the difference with music of signature at lyrics.com. This fantastic, fantastic intro and song. Uh, listen to Cast Away. Uh, this song by Andy Wotze, who we have here with us today. Hey, Andy, how is it going? I'm good, Anton. How are you? Fantastic. Really, really glad to have you here. Thank, thank you so much for accepting. Um, thank you for having me. It's a, yeah. it's a pleasure and an honor. Uh, Castaway, um, you know, this is... I was really impressed uh, with the riff, uh, the energy, uh, you know, the high quality level of production, everything about it. Uh, please tell us more about this particular song and about yourself as a musician. Yes, Castaway is the first song of the release I Broke My PC from my band Ellen which is spelled E-L-Y-N and uh, it was released last year around March yeah and uh, yeah it's uh, it's from a band Ellen it's a, it's a trio it's a progressive uh, rock alternative trio we, t- we take inspiration from bands like Nine Inch Nails Pepper Circle and Tool we try to be experimental but at the same time we don't want to go too far on the progressive side uh, we don't want. We want to make our music accessible to everyone that likes the genre, rather than only for musicians or people that. Yeah, it's a fine balance, right there, right? It, how do you? How do you? I, I imagine the the uh, um, writing and composition process is is quite intelligent. Um, you know, you have to kind of keep that balance. So, how do you go about that? Yes. So what I do, I try to keep things original but at the same time not to derail from something that might sound I don't want to say commercial but accessible to everyone so wh- the way I like to think is like that's my, would my mom like uh, you know for a funny sound would, would, would my mom like the song you know my mom someone that doesn't know music as much so I do things like I add a diminished scale but how can I make the diminished scale for instance, in Castaway, uh, I don't know, if, you know, like you know much about music theory, but the 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 verse uh, I use the, I use the diminished scale for the chord progression, and I try to make it as if it sound uh, you know like nice but not overcomplicated. Makes sense. Perfect. So and I like the I like the challenge. I like the challenge of making complicated things sounds easy. Oh well, that's the beauty. It it. Um... It's really the the mastery of everything. Being able to make really complicated things look simple. Uh, it's it's um, it's, a, it's a good challenge to have, and and it's a it's a very good. Um, I, I really like that. I really really like that that um, that thinking. And so so your band is Alien, right? You said the spelling Alien, is L Y N. So, and this is from an EP. How many songs have you put out already? Uh, so far, we have six, and we're working on the next release. We're 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 planning on a full album on the next one. Wonderful. Uh, do you have a possible title? 
Um, not yet. Not yet. I don't have the title. Um, I can tell that um, um, it's gonna be way longer and songs. Uh, as I said, like I like the challenge of making things complicated things sound easy, which is I, t I take a lot of inspiration from Pink Floyd when it comes to it. Nice. Um, so the challenge now is to make longer songs. I understand. I see. Uh, well, these are good, very good plans. Uh, you know, I, we really hope that everything goes as as you wish. Uh, let's go back to um, to yourself as a musician. So, uh, what part do you play in the band, Elin? Uh, I'm the uh, singer guitar player. It's a trio, so there's three of us only. Beautiful. Um, do you find it to be uh, more interesting? How do you find uh, the the trio format to be? Um, it's very fascinating. It, it it all reflects back to my passion for the band Rush. You know, I've always I've always been amused of how only three musicians can sound so big. Like if you listen to Rush, you you never find a there is no dead spot. You know, there is nothing missing. Like you listen to Rush and you listen to a band, it, it always almost feels as if you listen to an orchestra. I like um, um, I like how or, or bands like the Winery Dogs. I don't know if you if you're familiar with them. The challenge of uh, of um, having to you know sometimes you have to find the compromise. You have to you know when it comes to singing and playing at the same time. But also, sometimes that could become a way of being lazy and just make things easier for you know for one of them. So like maybe you play the guitar easier line on the guitar, so that you can make more complicated things. Whereas the way I look at it, it like you know like how how can I stick them together? How can I you know like a puzzle? How can I combine these things together so that none of the two things is uh, suffering, you know, there will be no suffering, you know, there will be no lack of guitar, interesting guitar lines, but at the same time, I don't want suffering uh, from, you know, from vocal lines. And it is challenging. And, but at the same time, that's why I like, you know, like, I, I, I don't like things that are, are boring and easy. I, I like to embrace the challenge and, and, um, and make it interesting, you know. Oh, and we did a gig. We did a gig last week where uh, uh, at the Underworld in Camden Town, and it was very like it was very interesting and in, um, of how people, how, you know, the reception from people was very interesting. How like no one complained. Actually, that everyone praised the band for you know sounding big and at the same time being only three pieces. I'm pretty sure that that um, you know your your shows are are, are are very worth it to to to, to watch. Um, so I'm sure you you have your tour dates on your social media and your website, which we are going to publish. Sure. Um, I wanted to to ask you about your. A little bit of your story, right? So, mm -hmm. so how did you get uh, passionate about making music and um, in a little bit of your trajectory? Tell us a little, a little bit about the person uh, behind the musician. Yeah. Um, so I started playing music because um, I'm, I'm Italian. I come from um, a country where. Uh, probably you're familiar with this as well. When you're a kid, everyone, you know, your parents put you in a football pitch, a football pitch, sorry, uh, soccer over there in the in the US. And uh, I didn't like that. I wanted something that you know was more for me, uh, rather than playing football like uh, the other kids. And um, when I used to go to middle school, my music teacher said to me that. You know, she thought I was a kind of a particular. Uh, she thought I had a particular talent. So my sister had a guitar, 
that she bought for herself, but she never played. So I started playing the guitar back then, and uh, that was love at first sight for you know since day one. So I started playing the guitar, and um, I started playing with you know I started playing with the local bands. I started teaching guitar as well in my local parish right off the bat, pretty much you know one year after I started playing, and um, then. I moved to Milan first in 2009, and in 2012 I moved to UK, where I started uh, working with local bands. Again, I played with uh, in the tribute scene with Guns N' Roses, uh, Duff Leopard, and uh, a Tool tribute called 46 and Tool, and uh, then played, you know, the, the local. Uh, I played with Metalworks, which is a big. Uh, uh, a big Sunday night here in London that uh, that where people like uh, Richie Faulkner from Judas Priest and David Remy from uh, Uriah Heep uh, started as well, and um, and yeah, so I alternate my music career at the moment between uh, guitar lessons, uh, session uh, se- uh, sessions as a guitar player and singer and Alan. Nice. Uh. Wow. Uh, yeah, definitely. I, I find, uh, uh, you know, similarities uh, in our stories. Definitely. Definitely. I know what uh, you're talking about. Do you notice um, a more uh, welcoming environment for for rock musicians uh, where you are now versus uh, before? Um, I would say that um, recent years uh, I would say it's it's getting better everywhere even like I know what you're talking about you know like in Italy maybe like there was more hostility towards rock musicians and there, there used to be but um, I don't know if you're up to date with the Eurovision oh, uh, contest. I know, I know. And, you're, you know, I, ma- mm-hmm. yeah, Maneskin. They're an Italian band, and they won, and they're and they're a rock band. They have like the sort of Led Zeppelin vibes. And I've realized every time I go back to Italy, I realize that the newer ge- generation is getting more and more into rock. And it seems to me. Through social medias as well, it's something that the newer generation is embracing more and more, and I'm quite pleased by it. You know, I'm really enjoying the the way the new gener and especially as a music tutor, I'm really enjoying the way that the new generation is embracing rock. That is, I teach cool. primary school. Te- I, I teach primary school uh, children uh, sometimes, and uh, they they come to me and say like, "Oh, teacher, I've learned." Uh, how to play smoke on the water you know that's that's not something that you expect from a nine years old nice yeah definitely something to celebrate absolutely and and yeah that fills me with joy yeah total total joy do you do you venture to to speculate what the reason might be um you know i have this idea that you know each generation wants to do something different from the previous generation, you know. We we all been to the point like, oh, what, you know, like, what our old man does is not cool, you know. And I think it's, it's a sort of will that, you know, it's, it's it, it keeps rotating, you know. And, and I think that's what, what it could be, you know. The, the, these kids, they grew up with parents that maybe they weren't into rock music. And, uh, as a sign of rebellion, they decided to get into rock music again. That, that is my. Then again, that's my opinion. I, I, I'm not entirely sure what it could be. But what, it is very plausible. I gotta tell. Yeah. Also, also the education. Uh, you know, like we, uh, the educational system has evolved. Uh, over here, more and more schools wants to. Um, they, they're pushing more towards the the musical uh, music education because of the benefits there as when it comes to creativity and problem solving. I love I love you bring this up. Um, 
I, I definitely think that、um, l- learning and playing music is 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 skill beyond the musical aspect.、Uh, it's、uh, it wires your brain、uh, in a, in a different way. And、uh, helps parallel thinking and problem solving and critical thinking and other things. So, so you know, do you, can you think of any instance that、uh, this this is being helpful to you or you know your opinion on this? Yes, I've worked in the you know like、um, I've worked in the sales and marketing in my younger yet in my younger years、uh, environment and.、Um, Also, as a musician, you know, like、uh, when when you start when, when you start off the bat, you always like you make your own websites. You have to you have to find your own way to make it in this、uh, in this business in this business, you know.、Mm-hmm. So it always been like you know how to make a website, how to you know market myself, and you know learning learning a music instrument is a complicated process. I realized like. Sometimes we musicians,、uh, we we think like, oh, I just have to play the pentatonic scale, but we forget how complicated is the concept of learning the pentatonic scale for someone that doesn't know what a pentatonic scale is. And I think like we we get into this process of learning such complicated things that once we have to learn something new, our brain is triggered to learn something new. And I think that. All this problem solving that I have learned, a huge part of it is thanks to my passion for music. Because you know, in retrospective, if I look back at my life before I started learning an, a music instrument properly, you know, I used to I, I didn't adventure into topics as much as I do it now. You know, when I was in my younger days. Whereas since I started playing music and since I started learning how to play the instrument properly, I've always been you know my my mind became more curious. If I see something and I want to learn how to do something, I literally dive into it and I dissect the the learning process and that and I've seen that with my students as well. You know, like I've seen students、uh, growing. I'm not. I'm not an old guy, but I'm not in my younger years anymore. And、uh, I've seen my, I've I've seen students growing up, you know, from the early teens to the, the early, you know, to the early twenties, and you know, the the confidence that they g- they gained through, through through music, you know, and all the problem solving, and it's such an amazing thing that you know, all the complications that. Come from making music, and all the obstacles that you have to face, they they prepare you for life, in my opinion. Yes, a hundred percent agreed.、Um, how about singing?、Uh, do you want to talk about that? Yes, singing. It's、uh, it's something weird. I I my parents、uh, used to send me to singing competitions when I was like four. So I never. Had any? I never felt、uh, in any stage fright comes to singing.、Uh, it's always been there for me. It's a it's a whole different process. Whereas when I, you know, before in my younger days when I used to play the guitar, I used to have be stage fright and、uh, you know I was, you know, my heart pumping. Whereas singing has always been natural. It's like walking, you know.、Yeah. I I don't know why I do it. I don't know how I do it. I just do it. And that's why, actually, you know, as a music tutor in the beginning, it was hard to teach someone how to sing, because for me it was there. Right. But at the same time, what and it's it's what I really like about singing is that everyone knows how to sing. You know, it's not obviously it's a case of how well can you sing, but it's something that everyone has. That's and true. And it. And it becomes a connection. A connection when you want to learn a new instrument. I always try to teach my students how to play the guitar through singing. Wonderful.、Um, I always thought, and I I encourage everybody who has this passion. I'm、um, there's there's no right or wrong in in any type of voice, you know. 
Everybody yeah. has their own voice, and that's the beauty of it. And correct, and, right? So, so just develop your own style. Um, make it, make it, uh, make it, make it good in your own way. Uh, you know, every everybody can, like you said very well. Everybody, everybody can sing. Um, uh, you know, it's it's about to me. It's more about the style. Is is the style good? Is the style attractive, interesting, uh, beyond what most people think that uh, you know, singing well might be. Okay, this is this this been really, really fantastic content. Uh, you know, Andy Watts a very very interesting person and and uh, in uh, musician. Thank you very much. You had to. You're welcome, of course. Uh, if you had to give a message uh, to your younger self, what do you think that might? Yeah. Be? Uh. Uh, good question. My, I will say to my younger self, keep diving into into it. You know, don't. I, you know, keep stopping. Keep sorry. Keep uh, keep on taking risks, uh, but be humble. That's what I will tell myself. Oh wow! Yep, be humble. <laughs> It's uh, you know, like there is no lim limit of how much music can you like, isn't it? No, not at all. There's no uh, thing. Exactly. Um, fantastic. Andy Botza, his band, Ellen, uh, progressive Ellen, rock, yeah. progressive rock, uh, accessible to like, likable to to uh, to any audience. Uh, we're gonna keep enjoying Castaway, and don't forget to hit on the links for Ellen's social media and. Andy, Andy Botsas on social media to, to get more info about the band uh, this fantastic musician and interesting person and you know hope we can stay in touch and all the best uh, best wishes and you Antoine thank of you course. very much of thank you for having me absolutely absolutely a pleasure so we're gonna continue enjoying Castaway here we go of the typical libraries with conventional music that makes you feel mad. Introducing Lyrics.com, the music website made for and by minds like you. Our team are lifelong musicians and producers in love with music. Search the Lyrics music catalogs and find the music with guaranteed originality. Mark the difference with music of signature at lyrics.com. 